Halo Hero Series 14. It's about time we got acquainted. <laughs> Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to the domain. We are back again with another Mega Constructs reveal, and it's about time I made a video on this. I got a very strict promise to the company to not reveal any leaks. They're not in line with company policy, and I want to respect their PR team. But today, I can finally talk about Halo Hero Series 14, because we've seen these images for a while, and now we've got beautiful crisp images, which reveal quite a lot more than we originally thought. It seems like just the other day that Series 13 was revealed and just the other day that Series 12 was. I mean, they are coming out in full force and I don't expect anything less considering we're only about six months away from Infinite. I've seen a lot of mixed opinions online and I do get that, but Series 13 was quite a hard one to beat. It came with an elite Warlord, Brute, Chieftain, Spartan, Trailblazer, and a new Master Chief. It was a really exceptional series, but this one has some really big highlights as well. So let's break it down one by one. We're going to start with the Banished. We've got a return of our big bad monkey boy Hyperius. He's been in Mega Constructs hearts for a long time and now we've got him released again in probably far more detail. He originally came out in the Defense Point Showdown almost a year ago now and he's back again in Halo Heroes. Now people are getting mad on the internet saying oh we already have a Hyperius. Yes but this is a Mega Constructs release of one of the most important enemies from Infinite and the game was delayed by a full year. They released the Defense Point Showdown thinking Hyperius would be in a set that was coming out in a game a few months later. I don't blame them for re-releasing this in Halo Heroes now. And it does look like it's got some exceptional details to it, particularly a colored gravity hammer, which in the display pictures, it has some smoke coming off it. Nice touch. And then this one has a lot of darker colors with very moody reds running through his armor. Yes, he's got Spartan Locke's helmet on his shoulder again. And yes, he's got Spartan Palmer's helmet on his helmet. I don't know about any of that. It's a very big mystery right now. I still stand by the fact that I don't think 343 would reveal a character death in a toy like this. Just flat out don't think they'd do it. They have complete control over these toys and they just release an image of a character that didn't spoil something for the game instead. It also makes sense that Hyperus is coming back in Halo Heroes because we just had a Inside Infinite blog post that revealed Hyperus properly. So it, it's all full circle in my eyes. Hyperus is commanding a Jackal Freebooter, which is it is a far more detailed version of the Jackal, and I am very happy about this one. I will be buying at least 10 of these, and I particularly like the details on his feet. He's got really nice skin working between the grooves of his, like, sandals. I guess they're, like, beach sandals. He, he Technically, the picture is in the desert, so beach sandals for Jeremiah. And he's got a Jackal shield, which is also really great. If the benchmark is the Halo Hero Series 8 Jackal Miner, then we're in for a treat with this one, although the shield definitely doesn't look as detailed. And he also comes with a gorgeous plasma pistol. I love that new design. I know we've been rocking it for a few years, but it never gets old. And it is painted in a very beautiful way. So that figure may be army built more than any Halo hero for me. And then we're moving on to the Spartans. We have three of them today, which is a lot. We've got the Mark V Trailblazer and the Master Chief. And we'll start with this Mark V. He's got really nice purple armor. I really like this one. And it's awesome how his weapon is matching his armor. This Needler looks like it works perfectly with the Spartan. I love the silver visor. I love the dark gray detailing on his helmet. This is an exceptional figure. And fighting alongside this Spartan is a white trailblazer. And this one, look at that pattern on his chest and helmet. This must be clearly out of Halo Infinite. I would really like if you can attach like camo coatings, like these armor coatings all over your Spartan. And this one has a pretty basic looking SMG, but a really gorgeous blue visor. I love that kind of electric blue. And this Spartan has a ton of white, grays, blacks, and even the pixels on his chest and helmet are all different kinds of colors. This might be the most authentically detailed printed figure we've ever got in Mega Constructs. So I'm really excited to have this in hand. I'm hoping these will be on store shelves soon. And these two Spartans were listed on a lot of websites as Spartan Griffin and Spartan Stone. Now I'm just about to sit down and read Halo Shadows of Reach. And I've heard from my good friend that these characters are in the book. So I'm really excited to see how they tie into Halo Infinite. And you know what? I just want to take a moment and say I, I feel sorry for Mega Constructs, you know? I really do. Because, because these figures might be named characters from Halo Infinite. People are ripping into the company online and saying, oh, there's only five figures in this series. And 
know there's no named characters apart from the Master Chief and Hyperius, but I don't think so, actually. If these two characters are named, they probably can't legally name them in the product release because of spoilers, but I bet they really do want to. And we've gone through the theory before that Halo Heroes is only five figures right now because they've been removing spoilers from the lines. Maybe last one was going to be a Spartan Kelly, this series was going to be a Spartan Fred, and they've got Spartan Linda coming out in the 20th anniversary collection set, be it Halo 5. Maybe they've just had to pull these characters because the game was delayed by a year, guys. Lay off the company. It's not their fault. And the last figure for today is the Master Chief. I'm looking forward to seeing how they implement the grapple shot because we've had a grapple shot in the two new Jazzware World of Halo and Spartan collection figures. But this one is just a plain Master Chief. He does have a little bit of scorch damage on his chest, which does closely match the Wave 3 Spartan collection Master Chief. I'm thinking that 343 gave Jazzware and Mega Constructs an updated asset of the Master Chief in game. So now they've added that scorch effect. I've also seen a really cool idea from one of my friends, Jonathan. Throughout the Halo Infinite campaign, your armor will get damaged the more you're in combat, the more you progress through the game. And maybe you can go to touch up spots like medic bays where they can clean up your armor. I would love to see any kind of like progressive battle damage on the Master Chief throughout the campaign. That would be awesome. The Master Chief comes with yet again another Mangler pistol. That's not what I would have chose. I would have chose a different weapon to give more detail to. You know, Halo Heroes has the opportunity of choosing which weapons they make into highly detailed weapons. So we've already had the Mangler pistol in Halo Heroes before and in the Master Chief versus Brute Warrior pack. So I would have definitely chose a different weapon. Perhaps the new Commando rifle or the new Carbine, like anything like that, I would have chose a different weapon. This series, it, it's pretty good. The Spartans are very detailed. The Jackal is one of the best army builders I've ever seen. The Hyperius, I don't mind because you have to release these big named characters before the game actually launches. It's it's just pretty good. I'm really hoping that Mega Constructs, once Infinite is out, they pump it back up to six figures and they start really taking their time with including more figures from across different generations. I know that people are getting, and it sounds crazy, already a little bit of Infinite fatigue from these toy companies because yes, the game was delayed and uh, we just want to see like other figures. I think that's why the Jazzware Spartan collection is doing so well right now because that is old Spartans as well as new. So maybe Mega Constructs could take a note from that. Maybe they could start doing Halo Heroes Infinite Edition and Halo Heroes Old School, like legacy figures. Kind of the same way they do blind bags, you know, they could do Halo Heroes blind bags and they could also release new kind of Clash on the Ring or New Dawn or Battle for the Ark blind bags. Just an idea. So this was another reveal with the domain. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Tune in tomorrow for a Wave 3 of Jazzware Toys announcement. Hope you're enjoying these news videos. I want to get these out as much as possible. And very soon, I'm going to have a brand new haul video and then tons of new mega. So don't worry, we're going to have a ton of fun here in the next month. This was The Domain with Halo Hero Series 14. Give Mega Constructs a break. The game's been delayed for a year now. But it, once it comes out, we're all going to, you know, we're going we're gonna to look back on this and we're going to go, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they were named characters. I guess, I guess that was a lot of named characters for a Halo Hero series. <laughs> But yeah, I want to see as much printed detail like Spartan Stone in the future. They look awesome. Domain, signing off.